hello guys welcome to my channel in this session we are going to discuss about one more important and interesting topic that is microservices and microservices in dotnet core web api this is important topic nowadays every application for scalable purpose they are using microservices for rapid development also and also for interview purpose a microservice question is must in every dotnet interview nowadays for fresher and for experienced guys so please stay tuned till last to understand complete microservice and how we are implementing microservice in dotnet core web api guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit the ring bell button for future notification let's get started so today in this session we have, we have agenda we will understand what is microservices and what is the monolithic architecture like previous or two microservice and implement we will implement a microservice architecture on web api and we will understand api gateway and we will create an api gateway okay so these are the in this topic agenda so let's understand what is microservice microservice it is a variant of service oriented architectural style it is an architectural pattern that arrange an application as a collection of loosely coupled finely grained service communicating through lightweight protocol so each service will communicate with their own protocol or any lightweight protocol to support the complete application the advantages of microservice the team can develop and deploy their service independently of others no need to depend upon other team member or other module member this is achieved by reduction of several dependency in the code base allowing for developer to evolve their services with limited restriction from users and for additional complexity to hidden from user and it also organization are able to develop software with faster grow and size as well as up the self service for more easily if you want to remove any service they can easily remove and if they want to add any service they can easily add so what happened in previous before microservices we are creating a monolithic architecture like this one we are keeping all the component all the third party library all the class supporting class libraries inside in a single application but in microservices everything are divided into separate separate service and it is interacting with each other let's understand this one so you can see in monolithic architecture ui layer business logic layer and data layer are in come in single application or single data code repository which is interacting with single database or it can interact with another database also in microservices ui or mobile client or any other client will interact with microservice each 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 microservice has their own autonomous fun functionality and they are working with the database so in microservice we segregate or we differentiate the modules and functionality and we created the service so let's go to the programming session so here i have a web api i created this project it's a e-commerce app like a small e-commerce app what is happen it's just a user is there searching the product add, adding to cart and check out just simple way so in this app i have user controller user cart controller product controller where i am getting the list of product and checkout controller also i have separate class library for data model which is product model user model and everything so if i run this application it is a monolithic architecture which ping all the functionality all the services into my single application so 
so you can see these are working if i execute these are working here get user detail so these are also working so this is a complete monolithic architecture where i am keeping all the functionality in a single application or single solution now let's say we get these two different different services okay so stop the application from running now let's create one more application so let's be your studio open i'm going to create one more web api project so i'm giving as a product service of not keeping https for now create and i'm going to use this particular data model so let's see where the data model is present right click on this app and open with folder explorer app is created so let's open containing folder so this is my data model here right so my product service app is created let's add the service so here existing project so i am adding this one also i am adding this data model to my service now let's add one more controller here so i am adding a web api controller and let's go to this controller and product controller no need of route so let's add the using statement here it will ask for using statement right so we created this service for product listing or product related application only now we have to we are running this application and we need to go to this and change the code we need to change the code for here but our application get run so you can see get product list so try it out execute yeah our application is running our product service is running properly let's go to our main applications for now comment this line of code and now i am going to add my line of code to call that api so i have added the http call to this api so you can see this is my api and okay now let's run this particular application which is our main app or main api app which, which i have created monolithically and i am segregating the services and see how it is working so get product list try it out execute so something going wrong okay i have small mistake here and the url now see get product list let's see try it out execute no error of debug 
so you can see it is internally calling our this application ui this this service and it is showing the result so let's stop the application now and let's create one more services for user so actually before going to user service let me understand make you understand so this particular main api now this is working as a api gateway for our rest of the service okay so we will understand so first let's create a service it will take time to internally create create a project we'll create core web api so i am giving user service app next no need of https and create okay so now we see we are directly calling to this straightforward service okay now we created our main api as a api gateway and we are calling different different service okay so what is a api gateway an api gateway is a software application between a client and set of background microservices okay between client and set of the backend microservices the api's gateway serve as a reverse proxy to accept api calls from client application forwarding this traffic to appropriate service like we created a, a main api gateway which is forwarding to product list and now we are going to create which, which will forward to user data api gateway primary benefit is that it standardize and centralize the delivery of service through apis or microservice beyond this api gateway also help secure organize and organization api based integration in a number of ways so to in this session we are we are creating a, our api gateway manually like we i create a product list now i am adding same thing i am adding existing project which is this one the data model right and adding the project reference and same here I, I will add a controller here user controller so added a user controller let's go to the user control here our in main app we need this service we need to add using statement here let's run this application user service app so user service app running try it out execute okay it's cutting data let's move to our main main applications where we are creating our we no need of this data right now we need same kind of data so now this api now it will call internally to this our user service for example you can see it's working or not our application got run here so get user detail you can see try it out execute okay we got our data so in this way we created our main application as api gateway and we created separate two services in our coming session we are going to see one tools a lot for creating api gateway guys if you like my this video give me a like and share this video with your friend thank you very much